How to make soda crackers at home. As winter weather rolls in, one of the most comforting things you can do around this time is sip a hearty soup with crackers crumbled on top for some extra crunch. And no other cracker goes better with warm soup than saltines or soda crackers. Made from flour, baking soda, and salt, this cracker is quite easy to bake right in your kitchen. Plus, the homemade version tastes much better than the store-bought. Tempted to give it a try? Here's how to make soda crackers at home. Before we go through the lists, please be sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of our future uploads. 1. Prepare the following ingredients. 4 cups all-purpose flour, 1 tablespoon baking powder, 1 fourth cup unsalted butter, 1 and a third cup whole milk, salt crystals for sprinkling, an egg wash made from egg yolk beaten with 1 tablespoon of water, herbs and or finely grated cheese, optional. Remember to use all-purpose flour, not bread flour, to get the desired crispness. Bread flour is more elastic and will result in crackers that are tougher and harder. 2. Mix the flour and baking powder. If you choose to add herbs and or cheese, add those in as well. 3. Cut the butter into the dry mixture until it forms coarse crumbs. 4. Add the milk and knead. Form the dough into a ball. 5. Divide the dough into four parts. Roll each part separately on a floured surface so you can cut them into your desired size. The thinner you roll them out, the crisper the crackers will be when baked. If you're having trouble making them lie flat, you can also try rolling them out between two sheets of parchment paper. 6. Using a pizza wheel, cut each sheet into evenly sized squares. Cutting them into even pieces ensures that they will cook at the same time. Discard the dough scraps that are left after cutting. They'll be tough if you re-roll and cut them. 7. Transfer each piece on an ungreased cookie sheet. The dough has enough butter to prevent it from sticking as it bakes. Leave a little room in between each cracker. 5. Prick with a fork to create holes. This will keep the dough from bubbling as it bakes, so that they will crisp up. Lightly brush the tops with your egg wash and sprinkle with salt. You can also choose to sprinkle a bit of white pepper to give it a little kick. 9. Bake at 325 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. They will start to turn golden brown at the 10 minute mark, so keep a close eye on the oven. 10. When your crackers are golden brown on the edges, they are done. Take them out of the oven immediately. They will crisp as they cool. As you can see, learning how to make soda crackers at home takes only a few basic ingredients and no special equipment. Just remember to store them right away in an airtight container, because these homemade crackers can get softer more quickly than their commercial counterparts, since this recipe does not use any preservatives. If you're in the mood for something a bit fancier, this baking soda crackers recipe can be easily tweaked by adding spices or herbs, or even gourmet ingredients like truffle dust. These crackers can keep for a long time if they are kept in an airtight jar. You might find it useful to separate them into smaller portions in Ziploc bags to make them last longer. If they do turn a bit soft, you can simply crisp them up again by throwing them in a preheated oven for a few minutes.